Hello there, I'm Sean Greasley and welcome to the next tutorial in our F Sharp series. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at a simple Hello World program. Now, whichever programming language you've maybe or maybe not looked at, uh, whether it be C++, Visual Basic or C Sharp, um, they all start with a simple Hello World program and this allows us to simply produce a very minimalist piece of code in order to get the compiler to compile it and simply output the words hello world um, so with that in mind let's have a quick look at this little example uh, as you can see at the top here uh, we've got something called hash light now this is just light syntax we will cover this in a later tutorial but for the fundamental of this basic Hello World tutorial, we're just going to be looking at the following four lines here. So if we run this uh, sample program here, as you can see, um, the compiler is saying Hello World. And that's all we need to do. It just proves we can write a simple piece of code in our new language F sharp uh, to retrieve the result Hello World. So there are a number of ways we can output this message, but let's have a look at one of the basic ones. So um, if we start here, these green lines here are comments. These aren't rendered by the actual compiler. Uh, we will cover comments in a separate tutorial. It just tells us what the following line does, really. So this line here, um, as you can see we've got system this is a namespace built into the uh, Visual Studio environment uh, console which is the console we're writing in uh, as you can see system has lots of other namespaces and objects and things available the one we're actually concerned with is console and if we have a look at the methods and uh, objects associated with console we can change the background color we can make it beep we can clear the console we can do all sorts really uh, we can read from the console but uh, for the basis of this tutorial we're going to use right line the difference between right and right line uh, right line simply puts a new return space after our string we specify here so you might notice the cursor is on a new line. Write simply writes it out with the cursor at the end. So if we do two write statements, you might find that you have a string appended next to each other. So if I um, do two write methods here, uh, each outputting hello world, execute the compiler there, we can see they're all on the same line. We don't really want this. It doesn't really matter to be perfectly honest, but uh, it's nice to make things look nice and clear. So if we use right line, we can get two hello worlds on different lines, and the cursors come to the next line here. So if we go back to where we were before, we select right line, we open our parenthesis. As you can see, it takes numerous arguments, 19 in total we can give it a boolean value, we can give it a character an array, decimals, integers, objects but the one we're interested in is a string and a string just means uh, in F sharp and C sharp and many other programming languages strings are uh, contained within double quotes so if we type in the string we want, it could be hello world, it could be absolutely anything, then end our parenthesis here. So what we have here was saying hello world twice and moving on to this statement here. Um, you may have noticed if you've used C sharp, C++ before, uh, VB users may find this a bit more familiar, we don't use semicolons at the end of each line. We can um, if we remove this light syntax, uh, but we'll cover that in a later tutorial. So uh, these two lines here will say hello world twice. The following line here um, simply just stops the console from closing. 
So we're using our system namespace as before, accessing the console object, and there's a method called read key. We just find this here, read key. And it takes in a Boolean value. This just, uh, I mean, the actual descriptions here, obtains the next character or function key, sorry, pressed by the user. So when we get a key, it should move on from this statement. So as soon as I press the key, it carries on executing. And because we have no other code, the program will terminate. And that's all this line does. It keeps the console window open so we can actually see our results. If we remove this uh, line here, you might just experience a quick flash of results and there's no time to actually see what's going on. So it's really just for the purpose of testing, really. So that's all that line does. You may uh, see that in quite a few of our tutorials. So uh, that's all it does. So just become familiar with that. So then um, that's it, really. Uh, that's a simple program on, I'd say, Hello World. Uh, stay tuned for the next tutorials to learn more F-sharp. Thank you.